Welcome back to movementprofessional.com. So today we're gonna to take a look at using a gorgeous ball to enhance bucket handle breathing or breathing laterally into the lower ribs. So we're gonna get on the side. This is a great exercise to just kind of get you into side lying and have you work on breathing, but work on breathing with some type of uh, pressure stimulus for feedback. So first thing to do is just understand the position and we're gonna get into what looks like a fetal position here. Knees are gonna be bent at about 90 degrees, hips are, are flexed at about 90 degrees, trying to stack the shoulders, stack the hips. From there, we take the ball, this is a gorgeous ball, a great ball for this type of work because you know the ribs are kind of bony, so we don't wanna have uh, too firm of a pressure, so this is a, a gorgeous ball, and I've actually taken a little air out, and it just makes it much easier for us to rest our ribs on it. So if we think about the uh, lateral ribs, if you just take your hands and squeeze your side here, you can feel where the, the lower ribs are. When you get down too low, you won't feel the ribs anymore and you'll start to feel just the, the abdomen, the muscles of the abdominals. So you wanna be right above the abdominals, right on the, the bottom part of the ribs. That's where we're gonna put the ball. And then we're gonna get into position. We're just gonna try to basically fall asleep on the ball, but we wanna make sure we maintain the position. We don't wanna roll back or roll forward so that the ball remains right on the side ribs. Then we're going to inhale slowly and quietly through the nose. As we do that, we'll feel the pressure of the ball move, or the pressure of the ribs move into the ball, and then these top ribs will move towards the ceiling. And it should hold that for a few seconds just so we know that we're doing it. And then when we exhale, the opposite happens. We just kind of collapse, we let the ball sink into the ribs. We get heavy, heavy, heavy. It makes sense to breathe out longer than we breathe in. So I like to breathe in for four, hold for about four or five seconds, and then breathe out for eight to 10 seconds and just let the body get heavy, heavy, heavy. And just repeat that for about two minutes on each side. All right, so this is very powerful exercise for teaching the mechanics of that bucket head or, or lateral rib breathing. Also very powerful for allowing the body to just really relax in a sideline position. Nice to do before bed if you're having a hard time getting comfortable in bed. If you have any questions, you can go to movementprofessional.com. I'll see you next time.